Hello, my fabulous Libra people. Libra, I missed you guys. I hope you're doing great wherever you are. Libra, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies. A lot of you are dealing with the Virgo. Also, Scorpio showing up here. Somebody thinking of you heavily. Yeah. First, we're going to ask what's coming towards you, Libra. What you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. We're all on soulmate journeys of some sort. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're concentrating on, thinking of while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. First, we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time, no matter what sign they are. And we're also going to ask how this person is relating to you emotionally. What's on their mind? What are they thinking, feeling at this time, Libra, especially in relation to you? Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Libra. For Libra's highest good, please. Universe, what's coming towards Libra? What will Libra be dealing with facing in their life? And how is Libra currently doing on the soulmate journey? How is Libra currently doing on the soulmate journey? And what's coming towards Libra in their life? Ooh, this one wants to come out. Libra, for some reason... You have two extra messages instead of one. I don't know why, but let's see. Very important. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. Only three cards over here. That's how it's supposed to be. Oh, this is you feeling a great need to reconcile with your soulmate. So apparently you two are not together. This is you wanting to reconcile, be on peaceful grounds with them, be a part of their life. Hmm. It's heavily on your mind, wondering whether it's going to happen or not. Hmm, because this is in position one. Yeah, you want to manifest this reconciliation with this person. You love this person a lot. Oh, yes, you do. A lot of you are dealing with Gemini and Virgo, but they could be any sign whatsoever. Yeah, you feel this is the person for you. You have other people around you, and you know that, but you're not interested in other people. You're concentrating on this person specifically. A lot of you are dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Yeah, this person is checking up on you. Curious how you're doing, what's going on in your life. They're checking up on you on a regular basis. They're very analytical. Huh. Analyzing you. Um, Libra, you have... Wherever it is you're working, here's another important message showing up, coming through strongly. That has nothing to do with your soulmate, actually. Um, and that is about your work or business. Wherever it is you're working, you have a lot of fake people, sneaky people. Uh, and I'm not saying all of them are like that. Your intuition, your instincts will tell you who they are, but you already know who they are, you see. You have some sneaky people uh, watching you, observing you, and others as well, not just you. Uh, tricksters, manipulators, jealousy showing up here, uh, gossiping. People view you at your job or business as diligent, detailed worker, bringing profit in. Yeah, you are very good at what you do. Yeah, this is you. Very good. Recognized by others. You have jealousy around you, so you know what that means. Whenever you're dealing with jealous people, take that as a compliment. That means you're doing something right. You see, they want to be like you, look like you, be successful like you. What you have to do is just watch your back. You're going to be just fine. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah. Um... Libra, this is for those of you, and I know that not all Libras are going through the same things, just like every other sign. Uh, so this is for those of you Libras. This particular reading is for those of you Libra people that are dealing with somebody who has been in and out, in and out, in and out of your life, not consistent, not telling you how they feel, not communicating effectively, giving you silent treatments. Yeah, you don't know where you stand with them from one day to another. Huh, universe, please show us. So this person is not communicating with you. They're silent right now, but they're checking up on you. Universe, please show us what's coming towards Libra in their life and how is Libra currently doing on their soulmate journey? Yeah, you, you feel that 
uh, you want to reconcile with them, but yet you feel so unappreciated, like you're not sure if they're going to uh, be favorable in this situation, like if they're going to react in a positive way, if they want to do it or not, you're not sure. They're giving you wishy-washy behavior. This person is checking up on you heavily. Uh, Fox again showing up here, but this is also showing me that you dealing with a lot of tricksters at your job or business. Yeah, another confirmation. You're dealing with some uh, low vibration people. A lot of people that are uh, gossiping, wasting time, uh, bickering, disputing with each other, fighting, disagreeing, wasting time and resources. Look how much wisdom you have, Libra. This is you, very wise, seeing everything clearly, what's going on around you. So you're aware of what's going on around you. Yeah, nobody has to point it out to you. Ooh, Libra, you love your person a lot, but you're not telling your person. You're hiding uh, the fact from uh, this person that you love them deeply. Yeah, you're not telling your soulmate that you love them for whatever reason or reasons. You're holding that information back at this time. Yeah. Look at this. Other soulmate showing up here. Entering your life. Yeah, look at this. Other soulmates entering your life. Huh. You know there are other soulmates out there. Yeah. Uh, some are lower vibration, some higher vibration. Depending what it is they need to learn and what it is we need to learn from them. Uh, in return. So all soulmate relationships uh, bring challenges because that's how we learn through challenges. You see, we don't learn just sitting, watching comedies every day. No, we're not going to learn anything. Challenges are in our lives for a reason. And depending how we uh, handle those challenges and relationships uh, will determine how much we're learning and what we're learning. You have great intuition, Libra. Yeah, this is you. Wisdom, intuition. This combination is very powerful. Uh, hermit with high priestess. You have great wisdom, great intuition. You see very clearly what's going on around you. Yeah. Yeah, you feel like your life is on hold when it comes to your romantic uh, part of your life. Like you're not moving forward in this relationship with your soulmate. You love them deeply, but you're restraining yourself for whatever reason from letting them know that you love them or love them still. You see, you feel like your life is on hold. You're not moving forward with this relationship. Yeah, you're not doing uh, anything right now at this time. Yeah, this is you pondering, waiting, maybe for the right time to do something. <clears throat> Let's see what's going on here. Your soulmate... Uh, they're showing up as wishy-washy though. Let me see. Universe, please show us uh, what's coming towards Libra and how is Libra currently doing on the soulmate journey? Hmm. This person is holding on to you, not releasing you, not letting you go. They're not interested in anybody else. They're interested in you. Four of Pentacles. They feel like they need to re-enter your life with some kind of explanations or peace offering or some kind of apologies will need to spoke, be spoken. But it looks like this person uh, analyzes a lot. They overanalyze excessively. They worry so much they can't see a big picture of what needs to be done. It's like they see uh, just uh, details, a bunch of details, but they don't see a big picture. They're not able to make a wise assessment of the whole situation because they worry too much. Uh, they worry that you're not going to let them back in. Oh, this person's so heartbroken over you. Three of Swords, the worst card in the whole deck. Three of Swords in a traditional deck is depicted with a heart being stabbed by three swords. This person feels deeply heartbroken over you, Libra. Hmm. Yeah, they they lost you, and they love you too. So look at this. You you still love each other, but not expressing it, not showing it. They're so heartbroken that this is a breakup, disconnection. Let's see what's going on. Uh, let's see. 
you know, please show us the soulmate of Libra, the soulmate of Libra. What is currently going on with the soulmate of Libra? And how is the soulmate of Libra currently relating to Libra at this time? Let's see. Yeah, look at this. There's no reciprocity because of the way this is painted. So they feel like they need to step up to the plate, do something. A lot of you are dealing with Virgo and Taurus and Capricorn. Yeah, you see this person wants a long-term commitment with you. But you guys are disconnected. Yeah, so both of you want to reconcile. Yeah, this person wants to reconcile with you. They do. Yeah, they want to be with you. So this is them wanting a long-term relationship. Lovers, you guys know each other for many lifetimes. You have soul contracts. You're going to see each other again in future lifetimes. You have a lot of lessons to learn together that you agreed to learn. You see? Oh, what's going on with this person? They're very sad. This is them feeling empty, rejected by you, neglected, abandoned. This person... Uh, Feels like they are alone, very sad, empty without you. They feel like something is missing from their life and it's you. They feel sad, but they're not coming forward yet. A lot of you are dealing with a Gemini. You two have been connected many lifetimes. This is a soul connection from many lifetimes, romantic relationships. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Libra. And how is the soulmate of Libra currently relating to Libra? Look at this. They don't want to fight or argue. You guys have had some serious uh, disagreements. Look at this. This is them not wanting to fight or argue. Oh, this person. Uh, it looks like uh, this person is blaming themselves for losing you. Like they feel enormous amount of guilt, regret, heartbreak. Dwelling on the past, very sad, very sad. They were hoping this would end up a long-term commitment. Wow, look at this. This person has high standards. They have very high standards. So if they're interested in you, that means you are a catch, Libra. They're spying on you. They're not good at uh, expressing emotions. Uh, yeah. They're not good at uh, coming through with communication at this time. Yeah, you see, they can't let you go. Can't release you. You see, still holding on to you. This is heavy. <clears throat> they love you a lot and they regret not showing you how much you mean to them emotionally. This is them heartbroken that they're not with you because they love you. If they didn't love you, they wouldn't be heartbroken. You see, they wouldn't even miss you. But because they love you and love you deeply, genuinely, they're heartbroken, you see? Regretful, sad. Yeah, they wish to re-enter your life somehow uh, with some kind of emotional offer, emotional gesture, peace offering. So they realize you are the one that they want. The best card in the whole deck, the sun. The sun illuminates their path. Maybe they needed to lose you to realize that you are the one. Sometimes that's how it works. A person needs to lose someone of great value that is always there to realize how important their uh, presence is. They're spying on you, though. This is them spying on you, checking up on you through videos like this, personal readings, social media. They feel a great need to uh, clear the air with you, communicate with you, but they're holding the Ace of Swords pointing down, so they're not initiating this communication yet as far as their behavior towards you and their communication patterns are concerned in this connection with you they showing up as wishy-washy not taking the initiative you see but as far as their feelings are concerned for you this person genuinely loves you deeply they just don't express it right now Let's see what's going on here. Universe, please show us. The soulmate of Libra. What's going on with the soulmate of Libra? You see, they want to see you. This is Six of Cups. Reminiscing of you, missing you. They miss you a lot. Yeah, past life connection with this person. 
Yeah, you see, this is them daydreaming, trying to figure out if this is really going to happen, if they're going to reconcile with you. You see, they feel you are the one for them. Uh, the world. A lot of you are dealing with Leo and Taurus. Yeah, you see, this person wants to show you some kind of emotional offer, gesture, apologies, peace offerings, gifts are usually indicated with this message. Um, very emotional towards you. These are all emotions. Seven of Cups, Six of Cups, Page of Cups. Hmm. Libra, we're going to go into your extended reading. First, we're going to ask about this person. Then we're going to ask about the new soulmates entering your life. First, we're going to ask, um, what are these, uh, what are the soulmates, the current soulmates' true long-term intentions and plans for you? Then we're going to ask, what they hiding from you at this time? What they have up their sleeve? What they planning? Planning? Uh, whether they are not communicating it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this current soulmate connection at this time for your highest good. And anything else you need to know about your life, whether it's new soulmates entering, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Libra, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.